this brings us to the shooting that happened in Chicago while you were driving. Can you walk me through exactly what happened? I mean, see, I was finna go put some money on um, my OG account. And she, I guess a car rolled up, probably thinking I was somebody else, and shot the car, but whatever, whatever, however the shit went. So you, so you think they thought you were somebody else? You don't think they targeted you? Only, I guess, you know, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, okay, you're driving to Chicago. Are, are you by yourself? Yeah, I was by myself. So the car gets shot up, and are you outside of the car at this point? Or how, how do you end up outside of the car? <laughs> Shit, I got out there. Oh, okay, so when they started shooting, you was you you was trying to get away, like out no, the car. When I got shot and I realized I was shot, I got out the car, like trying to see what they at. Like, I'm like looking around, trying to see where they at. There wasn't nobody around, so I just got in the car that was behind me and just told them to take me to the hospital. Okay, so it was your idea to get to the hospital that fast. You didn't want to wait for no ambulance. Right. Yeah, it was all on me. That was all. That was all me. I don't want nobody else. So you're taking it to the hospital and. They transfer you. I think I read somewhere that they took you to one hospital and then transferred you yeah, to another. Yeah, like I had, I went, I did, I made it through surgery at that hospital. I was in good state, so they took me to another hospital and just, you know, I was good from there. Were you awake the whole time? No, I wasn't awake. Like when I first got in the hospital and shit, I think, um, I don't know. Like I was just looking up for a minute. Then the doctor came and just shot me on my arm with some shit, and I was just out. And I woke up, shit, everything was good. Was this the first time you've ever been shot? Yeah. What did it feel like when that bullet first hit you? What were you thinking? I didn't even realize I was shot. I just like felt rips coming through the car, but I didn't realize I was hit until I got out the car and went to another person's car, like asking for help. They was like looking at me like scared and shit. Like, like something was wrong. They was looking at me like something was wrong. So I knew something was wrong at the time. I'm like, damn. And I just felt my neck, and I felt blood I, coming from my neck. I just put my thing over my shit, like, and just let them take me to the hospital. Wow. Were they talking to you or anything, or what were they yeah. saying to you? No, they was telling me, like, I'm good, breathe and shit. You gonna make it, ooh, shit like that. Yeah, okay. They, they take you to the hospital. Are, are you thinking you're gonna make it, or are you thinking, like, yo, this shit's over? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was over for a minute, but shit. Shit, I just, I guess I made it. I thought it was over, but I ain't gonna lie, because I knew I was shot in the neck. But I'm like, shit, if I make it, I make it. And I made it, shit. Yeah, that's a hell of a shot, man. Uh, you know, you get shot one time in the neck with a Draco, man, but there must have been bullets flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. What damage did the bullet do to you? It came out my back. It went from my neck to my back. So it came out, like, right here. And it came out my back right here. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that bitch went out my neck, came out my back. Was it the full bullet, or do you, or was it just a piece of the bullet? Do you know? It wasn't no piece. Yeah, if I would, if it was a piece, I would have never. It would have never came out. Yeah. Ain't no piece finna come out your back, like. It's whole bullet. They had to operate on you. Uh, what all did they operate on? Just my neck, just my neck, back. and probably my back. Just like fix my back. They stapled my back up, where like the bullet came out of, and they just like. I stay put up stitches in the front of my shit. Just like that, man. Wow. Uh Yo, it's your boy Suave the Wiz with the Mad Ad Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. You know we got dope content daily. But yo, my dude Lil Reese, the Grim Reaper, you know Chicago is dangerous. So, Real Reese finally sat down with an interviewer and, you know, someone of a publication and discussed his, you know, situation where he got into a shootout. If not, he got shot. Yo, Lil Reese and, you know, most of these people that are in the Chicago rap scene, they are very dangerous people. No pun intended. Like, their music speaks volumes when it comes to just, just gun violence and street stuff. And more so, I kind of feel bad for Lil Reese. Why? I mean, yo, nobody deserves to get shot in the neck and have to go through surgery and just deal with all that pain. And he was saying, yo, I went to just drop off some money to my mom, which was just terrifying to her, I'm sure. 
and I'm I'm looking into it and I'm watching and I'm just like, damn, yo, Lil Reese and the rest of the you know Chicago rappers, of course Chief Keef and a lot of other major rappers, they don't stay in Chicago anymore. They may come and visit or whatever have you. And I'm just at a loss of words because there's been a lot of gun violence in hip hop recently. A lot of rappers have passed and just lost their life. You know, of course, more notably, the most notable is King Vaughn from Chicago. And he didn't even die in his city, but he died in Atlanta. And it was just by the hands of gun violence. And not to mention, um, Lil Reese is just a really good artist, if one might say. Like, he has a lot of great music, a lot of notable songs, and people don't really give him the time of day because, of course, the Chicago drill scene has died out very much so. You have a couple pioneers that still, you know, tread and just do what they do, but when it comes down to it, Lil Reese is really in the streets, you know, he's, like Kodak says, you know, fuck the industry, I'm in the streets. Like, Lil Reese is really in the streets for real. This is clear as day. Just in my opinion, there's just been just too much shit going on in the rap industry and just music as a whole. I mean, there's been too many just shootings and murders and all types of stuff. I mean, re- as recently, I just found out that um, watching the 1090 Jake video, YNW Melly's manager, he actually turned in Melly's phone, which is a pivotal piece of evidence in that case against YNW Melly. So... A lot of stuff is getting very, very, very crazy when it comes to just hip hop and this street stuff as a whole. I mean, yo, Lil Reese, I'm glad that he made a speedy recovery and he didn't lose his voice, which is just, yo, that's the most important part of, like, I mean, yo, his whole fucking career. He is a vocalist, musician. I'm not sure if he's into production, but yo, I mean, I'm sure that's how he makes his means by using his voice. And that was just very, very unfortunate for Lil Reese. And I'm glad that he didn't lose his life, most of all. But, hey, yo, Lil Reese, when it comes to this music, like, when are you going to get back to dropping, like, real stuff that's, you know, chart topping, da 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 I was watching a couple interviews, and I was hearing people talk about how good Lil Reese is amidst just, you know, being around him in the studio even in earlier drill days, he was really dope as an artist and he had a lot of potential. Some might say even more than Chief Keef and his other, you know, predecessors or whatever. And it's like, what's up with the music? You know, forget all this street stuff, all the street stuff aside. I genuinely just believe like, well, I feel like rappers need to just focus on the music. Forget this gangster image. Forget all this other stuff, this material stuff like, yo, what's up with the slaps what's up with the tracks it's been the mad ad podcast with your boy suave the wiz please don't forget to like and subscribe i'm out of here